Mark, thank you so much for joining us to talk about your latest venture, Wonder. Tell our viewers about this new food delivery service that you've just started. Great. Well, well first off, you said, you said food delivery. It, it certainly resembles food delivery, but what we're actually doing is we're I've created a group of 21 and counting restaurant chains in every cuisine. And these restaurant chains don't exist in the physical sense. They only exist on a mobile platform. And this mobile truck will come in front of your house, cook the food, and bring it to your door piping hot. We've got some of the best chefs uh, in the world on the platform. Bobby Flay, Jose Andreas, Nancy Silverton, Marcus Samuelson, Mark Murphy, Jonathan Waxman, incredible uh, lineup of chefs. And this is not like for a party. This is every day, every meal, dinner. Everything from a high-end steakhouse down to burgers and pizza and everything in between. It sounds like a complicated process because you have your wonder chefs cooking inside of these mobile trucks and then delivering the food hot to someone's doorstep. Yeah, there's no open flame. It's a high-speed uh, convection oven, basically. And all the heavy lifting is done in the central commissary where we have sous vide steak and we create food kits um, and then we bring them onto the truck and then they're fired very quickly. So we can turn around an entire meal for your family in 10 to 15 minutes outside your door. So why is this a good business prop proposition? It sounds complicated. It's very complicated, but I love complicated businesses. I think that's where the opportunity lies. I think it's, it's very difficult for, for others to do it. We raised a lot of capital. We invested hundreds of millions of dollars in building you know, investing in the culinary engineering and food science to make this possible. Um, and in the beginning, we didn't know if it was possible. Could you cook a steak as good as you would get in a great Bobby Flay Steakhouse in 10 minutes outside your door and deliver it piping hot? And we prove we can. How much research, development, and money went into developing all of this? Yeah, four years and hundreds of millions of dollars just in the food engineering and food science mm -hmm. aspect of it. And we're constantly evolving and learning every day. We're able to cook now four pizzas uh, that look and taste like wood-fired pizza in about four minutes. We have a path to get it down under three minutes. So we're constantly trying to, to find ways to engineer the food so we can cook great food faster with someone who's very, very light training. So. Um, I, I wanted to see for myself. I went in, took a day of training on a particular restaurant. It was Fred's Burgers, Cheesesteaks, and went out on the road and was able to produce cheesesteaks and burgers and fries and the whole menu after a day of training. I'm curious about how you got interested in all of this because uh, you've been the founder of many e-commerce companies, Jet.com that you ultimately sold to Walmart, Diapers.com that you sold to Amazon, and you wrote an op-ed article recently and you said that of all the ventures that you've been involved in, Wonder, quote, has truly inspired me. Why is that? Yeah, I was truly inspired by the mission to bring great food um, to people that don't have access to it. From a business standpoint, I was just tired of getting soggy fries and not being able to order like fish or steak or anything uh, from restaurant delivery, and we solved that. I think millennials and Gen Z, that generation's putting a higher price on convenience. They're willing to pay to get food delivered, but right until, until Wonder, weren't able to get it hot, uh, really high quality every time. Well, right now, Wonder is available in uh, suburbs in New York and New Jersey, and, but you've raised, as you said a moment ago, uh, more than a billion dollars to expand the business. What do you want Wonder to be? We're currently, uh, next month, we'll be serving 400,000 households in about 75 towns. The big vision is that we become the go-to solution anytime anyone wants to eat a meal, whether breakfast, lunch, and dinner, seven days a week. The mission is to make great food more accessible. We believe there's lots of places right now that could have access to great food that don't. Um, and we want to bring our ovens and our kits and our technology to those, those areas. Mm -hmm. What feedback have you been getting from your customers? Great feedback. You know, people are, um, I think, surprised by the, the quality of the food and, and how hot it is when they get it. So what happens if the economy slows down? What if food inflation prices just to get to be uh, too high for your customers, how will your business be impacted? Yeah, I mean, it's growing so fast. I mean, if it's impacted, it will be a blip. We won't really, won't really feel it. Um, we're also moving into meal kits, ready to cook, ready to heat meals and things that are a much lower price point. So we'll have every meal occasion covered here in the very near future, so mm -hmm. I'm not worried. You know, Mark, uh, so many people dream of starting their own company and they look at your success with awe. Um, if you had to pinpoint one thing What's the secret to your success? This one thing is three letters, VCP, vision, capital, people. 
Those are the three ingredients to success. You have to have a crystal clear vision, know exactly where you want to go. Most people, they kind of have a vague idea of the vision, but crystal clear exactly what, paint a picture for what you want the business to look like 10 years into the future. Have a capital plan. Understand how much money you need to raise to get there and a plan. How many rounds is it going to take? How much are you going to raise? How much are you going to raise the next time? What do you need to prove with each round of financing? So mapping that out early is really important. And then finally, P in VCP is people. You have to have a, a clear mission, a set of values, and build a culture that is able to attract the very best people in the world. And then once they're in, a culture that gets the very best that they've got to give. If you've got the best people and they're motivated to give you the best they've got, you've got a clear vision, access to capital, that's how the, the magic happens.